Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my OP Cheap Platinum Hobby Box break. Let's see if I do better than part one. Check it out, guys. Okay guys, if you watched part one, you would have known I pulled some cards up here through the magic of editing that's kind of cleaned up a bit. And uh, yeah, we still got 10 packs to go. I think this might have been one of my bigger hits outside of uh, Kale Makar, but this one was actually a rainbow parallel of Matisse Kev Kevleniak's. I can't say it. Somebody can correct me in the comments. But uh, yeah, nice and peace. I think this is a really cool rookie card of his to have. Um, rainbow edition as well, so it's a limited short print. But we'll put that aside. Maybe I'll put them in here. Maybe good luck watching over my packs there. Um, but uh, yeah, again, always sad when someone goes early. Now, um, there's 10 packs to go. I did not pull an autograph in the first half, which means there's probably an autograph coming up. Um, hopefully, hopefully. If not, I have an angry email to send up her deck again. So stick around guys, let's see how I do. Let's see if I'm going to do any better. If you don't know OPG Platinum, there's 13 different parallels of the base set, potentially. And uh, you're supposed to get one hard signed card per box. So let's see if I, I'm able to do that. And uh, yeah, this is basically the premier mid-tier level product. By mid-tier, I mean OPG is the mid-tier brand, but it's a premier product, so it's like tops. Uh, it's probably like Topps Chrome versus uh, a Donruss Optic, so it's above Donruss. Not quite at Prism level yet, but uh, yeah, there you go. Let's take a look at this pack. So, uh, Upper Deck has always had some quality control issues. You can see, like, this pack is not sealed very well. There's uh, folding on the top there, so hopefully, you know, there's nothing wrong with the cards themselves, but. Only one way to find out, pack number one. Come on, OPG Platinum. This is the first time I've ever bought OPG Platinum. I did it on a whim, so hopefully it was worth the trouble. And uh, hopefully it was worth buying. Here we go, Dougie Hamilton, card number one. Braden Shen, card number two. Ooh, we got a Bowen Byram rookie card. So that's the uh, retro Bowen Byram. I'll put that aside here. And, oh, I was saying I didn't get any Leafs cards, but there you go, Nick Robertson. Canadian card collectors would love that one, I'm pretty sure. Nick Robertson, OPG Platinum. All right. You know, surprisingly, I haven't pulled a single Niels Hoaglander card. I, I think it's blasphemy at this point that I haven't pulled anything of his, but uh, maybe it just wasn't meant to be, guys. Next up. Anthony Mantha. Oh, here come more Leafs. Morgan Riley. We've got Elia Sorokin, marquee rookie. And this would be a rainbow edition. So there you go. Marquee rookie of Elia Sorokin, rainbow. It's pretty cool to have. And Zach Wierenski. So that's two packs down. Getting some goalies, getting some good, good uh, rookie hits here. Got Byram and a. Sorokin. Ugh. Rip that out of the way. Throw that at you guys. Oops, and I dropped it. Ugh. Okay. JG Pajot. Got ourselves Seth Jones. Ooh, this is one of the bigger rookies. Arthur Kaliev. This is another parallel version. Ooh, it's a numbered one. Check this one out. Arthur Kali of Marquee Rookie. This is called Arctic Freeze, number 34 of 99. Beautiful finishing. You can kind of see the snowflakes in the background, I guess. Is that what it is? Or the ice surface in the background. If not, you just got to take my word for it. Nice looking card. And Igor Sharangovic. Some really cool looking cards, that's for sure. Next up, uh, hopefully an autograph in this one. Hopefully an autograph. I should get the Book of Tristan out here. Have to debut it and let it go to work for me. Uh, 
let's see what we get. Jake Gensel, always in my fantasy hockey pool, but always lets me down. Woo! I am on a Connor McDavid hot streak. We've got ourselves Connor McDavid, best in the world. Is this numbered? No, it's not numbered. But there you go. Best in the world, Connor McDavid. On the back, it talks about his international career. That's kind of cool. You guys could have paused the video to read about that one there. We got Brendan Gallagher. And whew, another Ilya Sorokin. This one, a regular version of his marquee rookie. We're having some goalie marquee rookies here. I hope I didn't use my Connor McDavid luck. Uh, I almost said Connor McGregor, but Connor McDavid luck there. Maybe there's some more Connor McDavid to come. Maybe. We'll see. Here we go. Oh, this is really messed up, this card. Matt DeShane, you see that line across it? That is not supposed to be there. That is a print line error. That is just... That's just disappointing right there, guys. Alexander Belzile. That's a rookie retro. Oh, we got OPG Premier Retro Elias Pedersen Superstar. That is cool. Is this one numbered? No, it's not, but it is. It's going to the PC, that's for sure. Elias Pedersen Superstar. Uh, it's, it's not even rainbow or anything? All right, it's a premier edition of the card. It has a rainbow sheen to it. Doesn't call it out, but... And the Cohesher Base. Can't go wrong with Elias Pedersen. Well, you can if he plays on your team, but as a fan of his, you can't go wrong collecting his cards. Always makes me happy to see it. Now, if only we can fix the Vancouver Canucks. I think, honestly, I think the only way the team can be fixed at this point is uh, clean house. You can... I mean, guys, I don't know about you, but if you suck at your job for eight years, you usually get fired. You know, you don't get rewarded with more and more money and more and more job security, which is what's happening with our general manager there. He's already outlived, or he's been here for three, three coaches. All right, three coaches. So, or was it two? I don't know. Either way, too long, way too long. Dominic Kubalik. It's been so long that I already forgot, you know. Also our power play, what is all, all, all of our special teams? Power play, penalty kill, it's unbelievably bad. Here we go, we got Ty Delandria. Sweet selections, I'm not sure what that is. Got a marquee rookie, Alexander Alexiev. Brooks 77, be happy with that one. And Mark andre Fleury, again that uh, die line is right across the bottom there that is not supposed to be there that is disappointing guys next up I mean I guess I only paid 150 for the product so it's not that bad it's not like SP authentic where they gouge you for $300 a box but you'd expect this to be a premium product so it should have premium finishing to it at least that's my theory behind it. We've got a few packs left to go. This one's really hard to open. I might have to bring out the scissors for this one here. Don't want to damage my own hands or the cards, so here we go. Okay, we got Logan Couture, Sean Couturier, Bust of uh, Jeff Skinner. This might have been worth something a few years ago. Sunset. Put that one aside. And Philip Broberg, marquee rookie. Okay. Still no autograph. Kind of getting worried here, guys. Three packs to go. This is pack number three, or third last pack, I should say. Carter, Hart, 
We got Rainbow, Jonathan Huberdo. Kale Makar again. You see that line, guys? That line right there? That is terrible, but Kale Makar is awesome. And a marquee rookie of Philip Kurashev again. Some pretty bad lines there. Yeah. If, uh, if you submit this for grading, if you're a big Philip Kurashev fan, it will not get you a good grade. The surface will not get you a good grade. And it's just disappointing. That's um, that's uh, what happens when you rush a product, I guess. Or you didn't even rush this. These are late. <laughs> I don't know what the excuse is. Poor quality control. Cheaping out on production. That's how it happens. Here you go. Phil the Thrill Kessel. Mark Giordano. Retro of Ryan O'Reilly. In Connor Hellebuck. All right, guys, I'm getting really worried now because this is the last pack, and I haven't had an autograph. It says on average, and I think they're going to hide behind that, but that's BS to me if I don't get it in here. So there's a lot of pressure on this pack. I mean, the whole point you spend the money to get the hobby box is to get a hard signed card and not go home disappointed. So uh, let's see what we get here. Last pack, Claude Giroux. Oh, we did get one. We got Steve Lawrence, Marky Rookie Auto, followed by Steve Lawrence. Marky Rookie, who's a big Steve Lorenz fan, please raise your hand. And Jonathan Quick. All that build up, not a big payoff, at least in my opinion. But uh, I had fun ripping this, guys. The cards are really beautiful. I think some of the biggest hits I had are this Connor McDavid in there, Elias Sorokin, Rainbow. There's some pretty good stuff. Um, and the Arthur Kaliev. Oh, yes. Can't forget Arthur Kaliev, marquee rookie. That's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed OPG Platinum. What do you guys think? Should I get another box? Should I move on? You know, is Upper Deck just this way that they and I will never get along? I don't know. But that's it for me, guys. Um, as I mentioned in the last version of this video, 75% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please consider subscribing. It really helps drive that number up. It really helps out the channel. And then I can stop asking you guys to subscribe in every video. I know that's annoying. All right, that's it for me, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Hope you guys had a wonderful, uh, you guys have a wonderful Black Friday experience. Hopefully you guys have a great Thanksgiving to my friends down in the South. And uh, of course, again, stay safe, stay healthy, guys. Enjoy your time with your friends and your family. And the holidays are just around the corner. We're almost into the new year. Can you believe it? All right, guys, take care. I'll see you guys all soon. Cheers.